Hello and welcome to Shade Tree Cardiology. Today I want to discuss a topic called Prince Metals Angina. Have you ever transported a STEMI and alerted the cath lab only to have the ST elevation melt away right in front of your eyes and be wondering what happened when you got to the ED? Well, there's no way for me to know for sure what it was when you uh, transported that patient because I haven't ran all your calls with you, but it could have been a condition known as Prince Metals Angina. Now in Prince Metals Angina, the patient will have chest pain and things equivalent in, uh, to NMI, and they may even tell you, hey, this feels identical to my last heart attack. But what's actually going on inside the body is there is a vascular spasm of the coronary artery as if you had slipped a noose around one of the sections. And this occludes blood flow to a great deal, so much so that it actually shows ST elevation on the monitor during the episodes of chest pain. These episodes are usually quickly resolved with some nitro or some morphine sulfate. But for all intents and, and purposes, you actually see ST elevation and have someone suffering a transmural MI right in front of you as long as that vascular spasm is in place. Usually the diagnosis of Prince Metals Angina comes from a cardiologist after they have been transported or they show up with ST elevation which goes away when the angina goes away. So. No way to know for sure if every false cath lab activation is tied to this, and chances are that they're not. But hopefully now you understand the concept a little bit better than you did before as to why one of your patients can show ST elevation and then not have any occlusion whenever they get to the hospital. Thanks for watching.